Happy day one of peak week. Good morning guys and happy Saturday morning. I am on my way to do my final leg workout. It's gonna be a combo lower body workout. Just do that final push on my legs before they get to have a rest for the rest of the week. Um, I just dropped Skylar off. They're running some errands. We're just uh, walking around the neighborhood this morning. Beautiful day. It's gonna be great weather for the weekend. We're going on a little road trip to visit my mom and dad and also go do my final check-in with my coach and my final posing class. I cannot believe, actually I can believe that it's here because I've been literally counting the seconds down. But uh, right now feeling fairly energized because I had a cup of coffee and some egg whites. And now I'm gonna go destroy legs and then meet up with Skylar to have an amazing Saturday. This red guy right here, we keep going. No, we're not racing. Neck anybody. to neck. We're not racing anyone. We're also gonna go for a hike, a cool, awesome walk in Chilliwack. Whack. And it's just, <laughs> I'm gonna show Skylar um, one of my favorite things I used to do when I used to live in Chilliwack. It's a really awesome. Isn't that a weird place, place that she's from? Chilliwack. Chilliwack. It's a weird. Chilla chilla chilla. Sounds quack, weird. Quack. Chilla chilla chilla. Quack, quack. It's like one of those weird Canadian places. Well, you have a lot of Americans I'm watching, I'm a weird Canadian, you? so it makes sense to me. Okay. Anyways, we'll see you on our amazing hike. This is where we're going. Peak week. Cardio. 40 minutes. You ready? Does it take 40 minutes? I'm gonna get you in this shot, babe. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. We just saw a legitimate tumbleweed tumbling down the road. Chilliwack, my hometown. So now we just finished our hike. It took about an hour and five minutes, which is much more than I even needed to do, which is fine by me. And now we are going to go and sloth around at my mom's until tomorrow. Right, babe? That's right. Just a couple of sloths slothing. Good morning. Happy Sunday and day two of my peak week. Good morning, Skylar. Good morning. Last night, my mom made me my dinner, and it was asparagus, rice, barbecue chicken, and it was divine. And I'm feeling like a million dollars. And I look like a million dollars too, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm on my way to do a photo shoot as recommended by... Nine dollars there. Is it tap? No, it's not. Okay. There we go. Thank you very much. I bought Welcome. Timbits for everyone. If you're not Canadian, these are like little donut holes. We're on our way there now. And I'm gonna have my makeup done and I brought a few different little outfits to wear. I'm not 100% comfortable doing these kinds of things, but Skylar's coming with me because they're the best and uh, they're going to be supportive and hopefully give me direction and pick up my outfits and tell me what to do. <laughs> Anyways, we're on our way. Boom. Makeup done. Hair not in rollers anymore. We're outside of a gym because apparently we're shooting at a gym in Chilliwack, which is super cool. Should be good. Should be fun. I just finished my posing practice and my last posing practice and my check-in with my coach and I'm in such a great mood because he was such in a great mood and seemed very happy with 
where we're at right now and also let me know that my cardio got dropped to only 20 minutes and because I did the photo shoot today and did a lot of upper body stuff with weights I don't have to do my back and bicep workout today so now we're at the grocery store doing a peak week grocery haul and just getting the last things that we need for the week as per usual love you love you Hello. Hello, welcome to Hastings Sunrise. <laughs> Kim's playing some songs for me. We thought it was fitting since she's playing in my first video yep. that she finish off my peak week video with a little tune. So we're just hanging out, chilling, enjoying this beautiful Vancouver sunshine. Good morning and happy motherfucking Monday! <laughs> the last Monday of my prep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it, you guys. I am on my way to the gym with so much energy. Why? Because I had oatmeal for breakfast and an egg. I've had rice already with asparagus and fish. Super thankful for all of you for hanging in and watching these videos, especially the last few weeks, have been pretty rough. I just want to make this the most enjoyable last week of prep that I can. And not everybody, just so we're on the same page, has such an enjoyable peak week. Um, sometimes competitors' cardio is increased a whole bunch and their food is reduced even more. Thankfully I have a coach that is very experienced and they had a goal in mind to help me get to this stage and be in this kind of position where it wasn't going to be a stressful final week. So we both, you know, I worked really, really, really hard and he pushed me really hard for the last few weeks, as you know. but. Now I understand why, because this is so much better. I sent my coach pictures this morning, because I send him pictures every evening and every morning now this week, so he can keep an eye on how my body is peaking. And he told me this morning I'm done with cardio. Okay, you guys are going to think I am crazy right now, but as I said earlier, my coach gets photos of me first thing when I wake up and an hour or so after my last meal, just to keep an eye on how things are looking and adjust my diet or my exercise or whatever. And so after this morning's photos, he sent me a message telling me that my cardio was done, that I didn't have to do anymore. And my first reaction was like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? I don't feel like I should stop doing cardio at all. It's just been so ingrained in me at this point that I would have some kind of cardio to do on my lunch. So then I told him I actually don't mind doing cardio, especially now because of the amount of food that I'm getting. I have the energy to go do it. <laughs> So I'm actually walking to the gym right now to go do cardio voluntarily, but it's not obviously going to be intense cardio. I'm just going to go hang out on a piece of equipment for 20 minutes because I actually do enjoy it 
when it's not a ridiculous extensive amount of time. What up guys? My nails are done. Ooh, super boring as recommended by my coach and pretty much everybody that does these competitions says that that's what you should do so your nails don't distract from your bod. And I'm going to get a pedicure tomorrow. I've strategically planned all of my pampering appointments to fill up the time that I would have been training. So tomorrow I have a pedicure, the next day I have a massage after work because it's a way to keep me distracted because I'm still not eating that much food and I don't really get to enjoy a lot of food until show day and then after show day. So I'm trying to be smart about that. One thing that I will say quickly that I was thinking about today is that I hope anybody that follows this vlog, whether you're into competing in a figure competition or a bikini competition or bodybuilding competition, or you're just like looking for some inspiration for fitness or whatever, um, my biggest message I hope is that not like that you want to obtain this kind of crazy physique because it is really not uh, sustainable. It's very unrealistic and um, after show day my body's gonna start reverting back to not what it was before I mean I could always be a little tighter and leaner but it just depends on how dedicated I want to be so we'll see but I hope that the end message I hope the overall message is about just having a goal committing to it and even though it seems far away and there's a lot of time and you know a lot of struggle to get there if you do stick to something you will get the results or you will reach that goal and you will get whatever it is that you want to achieve so that's what I hope the real overall message is because I for sure am not going to be maintaining this physique for much longer and I'm excited to enjoy food again and have a little bit more of a casual relationship with my fitness not like super casual but just like a friendlier happier relationship with it rather than this like regimented drill sergeant relationship so that's just a couple of thoughts for you on a Tuesday Skylar is off um, getting a meal right now that I cannot partake in so I'm just waiting in the car they're gonna pick it up and enjoy it at home while I cook another one of my peak week meals which is chicken and asparagus so two more days three more days I don't even know how many days Wednesday Thursday Friday three more days and we're done happy Wednesday guys so I I think I'm overdoing it or I overdid it in the last few days because of the calorie increase, the fats and carbs increase, I felt just so much better. Needless to say, I have, I have had an increase in food and stuff but it hasn't been substantial enough that I can be bouncing right back fully. Like I said before, my coach didn't, my coach said I didn't have to do cardio starting yesterday and I went and did it anyways. And that was probably not the best idea. So today after he saw my photos this morning, he said 100% no more cardio. Which is kind of like a weird feeling, I guess. I don't know if the rest of you out there can relate or not. But I still do have to do a light, a light upper body depletion workout. So right now I'm just going to do that instead on my lunch. So it's going to be about 45 minutes. And I just, uh, I asked him if I could just focus on shoulders because as you know, it's my favorite muscle to work. So I'm just gonna do 45 minute depletion workout on my shoulders to finish off this prep. This is officially the final workout.
so I just thought I would capture the real emotion of me officially completing my final workout of this prep. I do feel like I'm getting a little emotional and I didn't think that I would. But it's just like, it feels very surreal to have worked so hard for so long and now it's just over. And I'm not sad, <laughs> I'm so relieved. Finished my last set of sit-ups and just thought of how many times I was at the gym and I was struggling to be there and it was really, really tough. And I had to push through a lot mentally more than anything. And it's not often that you take time to, to pat yourself on the back, but I think that this is what's happening right now is I'm just actually really proud of myself for sticking to it because trust me guys, I wanted to quit a lot along the way. Many times I questioned my motivation and I was concerned about my mental health, my physical health, my relationships with family and friends. So, I just wanted to be really honest with you guys because if you're considering doing something like this, it's definitely really hard and I don't feel like there's enough out there to show the weaker points and the lower points and I definitely don't consider this a low point. This is a very high point because I'm done. Now all I have to do is follow my diet pack my bags and do my best on stage and you know I'm, I'm thankful that I had a coach that's been so supportive and given me all the, the tools I needed to get through he let me whine to him and complain to him and question everything and you know he was also a no BS kind of guy and uh, he definitely pushed me and we had it we were a good match for that so anyways I have to go back to work now <laughs> and then I have one more day of work tomorrow and just from here on out it's just prepping for the for show day and get, getting a pedicure and packing a suitcase and food and it's just I feel out of my element now because this is kind of my forte was the workouts and, and now that part's done so Thank you guys so much for supporting me through this and uh, I hope to make everybody proud on Saturday.